Thank you for joining me for Play and Learn. My name is Julie, and today's theme is emotional literacy, and we are going to sing our feelings out. So let's get started with the hello song. Next up, we're going to do a song about opposites, and it's called Roly Poly. It goes like this. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, up, 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 up. Roly Roly Poly, Roly Roly Poly, down, 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 down. Roly Poly, Roly Poly, out, out, out. Out, 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 roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, in, 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 roly, poly, roly, poly, slow, 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 roly, roly, poly, roly, roly, poly, fast, 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 fast. Today's felt story is called Many Colored Capes, and it's by Carissa Christner. So let's see, we're gonna call her Carissa. What color of cape Carissa will wear first? There's rhyming in this song, um, and we're gonna talk about colors as well. My cape of bravery goes over my head. It makes me feel bold, and its color is red. My cape of honesty makes villains speak true. It chases out lies and its color is blue. My cape of fairness conquers those who are mean. It quiets the world. Its color is green. My cape of calmness makes me feel mellow. It quiets the world. Its color is yellow. Last one. My cape of wisdom helps me to think and solve tricky problems. Its color is pink. My favorite cape gives me a glow. It's all of the colors and makes a rainbow. That is my cape of many colors. Next up, we're gonna song, sing a song that you might know called If You're Happy and You Know It. There's other emotions that we're gonna talk about. We're gonna do If You're Silly and You Know It, Stick Out Your Tongue. If You're Sad and You Know It, Cry Your Eyes. If You're Flustered and You Know It, Take a Breath. And if You're Proud and You Know It, Say, and if you're excited and you know it, shout, hooray! Okay, it goes like this.
Okay, next up we have the dragon breath. So if you want to try taking a deep breath in through your nose and then breathing out through your mouth with your tongue sticking out as, and make a sound, um, we'll do that three times. Ready? Very good. I don't know if that was fun for you. That was fun for me. Today's play and learn activity is exploring emotional literacy. So all you really need for your, this exercise is yourself and your little one, uh, your facial expressions, your voice um, to kind of explain and describe things and also use as a different form of expression as well. Emotional literacy is the ability to identify, understand and respond to emotions in oneself and in others. So one thing we can do to develop an emotional vocabulary is just to have a dialogue about uh, what it looks like, what it, different emotions might look like and how they're expressed. So you can have some fun with your little one kind of doing a mirroring activity. Maybe get started with something silly and uh, giggles and playfulness um, and then go into like grumpiness or uh, frustration or anger, whatever. Um, kind of that leads into and just have some fun uh, learning from each other and playing with different expressions of emotion. Uh, you can also try in front of the mirror if you want, you yourself and your little one, um, doing your own expressions in the mirror to see what they look like um, and looking at each other. Have some fun uh, with looking at yourselves in the mirror expressing emotions. And finally, if you'd like to get creative with a pen and paper, maybe some colors, this one here is a really simple kind of chart that you can use for uh, to point out different emotions. Um, and then this side here is uh, different colors. You know, you might get a feel for um, how colors relate to how you feel and different ways to express uh, uh, your emotions, kind of using colors as identifiers as well as uh, facial expressions. So that's some fun there with emotional literacy. Next up, we have a song called Shake My Sillies Out. And we're gonna add in stomp and you can grunt if you want stomp our grumpies out we're gonna cry cry our tears out and wipe our tears away and then we're gonna hop 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 our happies out okay shake some new verses to that song if you like maybe after your um, emotional literacy exploration today's reading recommendations are one is today i feel silly by jamie lee curtis and it's illustrated by laura cornell and it's a lot of fun talking about different moods and feelings and there's lots of colors and uh, different activities going on here to get a dialogue going about emotions and how we feel next up is called why the face and it's by Jean Julian. It's a lot of fun uh, guessing why the people might be making those facial expressions. So I encourage you to maybe check those out if you are curious. And before we go today, uh, we will say goodbye colors and goodbye friends.